Hello friends, it's Suzanne here from sunstampin.com. Welcome to the 12 part mini series called Crafting at the Lake House, the September 2023 version. <laughs> In this mini series, I am going to demonstrate 12 projects plus three, yes, you heard it right, three bonus projects that were designed for these attendees. Now in the past, I had shared the event venue with you, but today I am sharing the faces and excitement of the attendees. We had a really special time together. Lots of laughter, fun, food, and goodies. That's what crafting is all about to me. I had a really amazing team that helped me out too. I am blessed with the best of friends. Thank you guys. So the book that everyone is excitedly showing you is a card design sketchbook called The Card Maker's Companion. The link is below if you wanna order one for yourself. They're sold on Amazon. Now, let's get into the projects. Hi friends, we are featuring the So Very Merry stamp set and the two and three eighths inch punch for card number three of Crafting at the Lake House. I'm also going to feature the Distressed Tile 3D embossing folder. I'm gonna start with that first. I'm gonna take the basic white piece of card and I'm going to stick it in my embossing folder. This is the 3D embossing folder. We're going to use plate number one and number four. This is my stamp and cut emboss machine, the big one. It's beautiful. The um, gray part flips up and it can store away on my bookshelf. Very, very, has a very small footprint. So hands down, this is my favorite embossing folder of this catalog. Well, it's a close runner with the lead, the 3D leaves. That one's pretty nice too. <laughs> uh, it's distressed and it looks like a little brocade. All right, you can tell that I have a cold. I'm sorry, uh, my voice will give out here in a second. <laughs> This was the sentiment from the So Very Merry stamp set. It is supposed to go around in a circle. It looks funky because I trimmed out a corner and I made it straight. So that's why it looks different. <laughs> this is a fine shimmer in uh, Fresh Freesia. I love it. And basically I put these two strips together, cut down the center and then from the corner to that cut center and then the corner to that cut center. And so both of my shimmer piece and my sentiment piece will be have exactly the same banner. And I know that people are like, why does it matter? But when you have a simple card, details like that matter, sometimes they're harder. So whatever, there was something weird on my stamp or on my ink pad and it made my image fuzzy but I wasn't going to stop. I actually wiped off my my stamp pad here. All right um, with a baby wipe and hopefully that took away any fuzzies but you can kind of see it didn't uh, stamp really nicely on my page and that's okay. So like I said I'm just going to go through and we're going to color. So you can kind of see the color by the lids on the screen there, this is Highland Heather Dark. I used Lemon Lolly Dark for the angel's hair. And I used, and I don't know what color that is, SU1000, which I think is the fairest skin tone. Um, when I got them, they were numbered, and now they're not numbered. <laughs> So it's hard for me to, I need to change that actually, you know, that's very irresponsible and unprofessional of me for not knowing these names. Uh, anyway, we're going in with Fresh Freesia Light. Please forgive me, I have a cold, like I said. So, um, you know, I'm a little drugged up on the Buckleys. <laughs> and for those of you who are watching that are American, Buckleys is, uh, you know, the last resort 
that we take when we have coughs and colds. Um, but you know, it tastes awful, but it's where it works. I was having a conversation with my mom today. She phoned me to see if I hadn't died. <laughs> she's so funny. She's like, what have you been taking for your cold? I said, Buckley. She's like, oh, you're really sick. <laughs> Oh, okay, and all the Canadians are going to give a little laugh because we know that's the truth, right? All right, here we go with Balmy Blue Light. And uh, there was Tahitian Tide as well. This angel, I'm going to leave her wings white because I believe an angel's wings should be white. I don't know. You know, according to uh, Supernatural, most of the wings are white. So I'm going with, with that lore. All right, so this is the two and three eighths inch punch. It is not bundled with this, but holy cow, it fits perfectly. So um, that is something that I think should be a bundle, to be honest. Uh, here is a little trick. You've probably all seen this before, and as soon as I can figure out, I'll show you just using that post-it note. But many of you might not know that these uh, punches should be laid on the surface and you sort of half punch before to actually get it to the, you know, make sure that you're doing it right. And then you press down just like I did in case, um, I don't know if you have weak wrists, like I shouldn't be holding that punch and trying to punch it. It's way easier to put it on your desk and, and press down. And that's how it was intended. All right, so the fresh, uh, let's see here, what was the cardstock? Fresh Freesia cardstock and circle die cuts. That is from the stitched circles. And then these little strips, I did put adhesive sheet on the back of that fine shimmer. It's gorgeous shimmer. Oh my gosh, it feels great on your fingertips too. Uh, and then I curved this up with my finger and I am going to adhere the peace and joy between the circle and the angel. And then I'm going in with pastel adhesive back sequins and I'm going to add my trio. So again, and this sounds like a broken record, but you can see all the supplies that I used today listed in the video's see more section or in the supply section of my blog. Those fast links are going to take you to my Canadian online store where I would love the chance to meet you and earn your business. Thanks for watching and bye for now.